It's a very layered film with um, you know a nuanced relationship, a love story, um, a little bit of revenge, action. Uh, it'll make you laugh, make you smile, it'll, it'll make you cry. I think it'll make you angry um, and it'll keep you on the edge of your seats. Rocky, you know, meant to so many people. You know, what that franchise meant. You know, working with Ryan Coogler, being able to give uh, uh, my generation Rocky to the people, something people can be inspired to see, um, a role model. Um, uh, who doesn't love a, a boxing, a boxing film uh, with a lot of heart, a lot of passion, you know, underdog story, and uh, something to root for. He's a really, really smart guy, incredible actor. So to kind of get him on set and watch him flip that switch from Sly to Rocky is pretty cool to see. You know, you hope that you get to a point in a character, particularly when you come and play a character multiple times, which I have done now in the second installment of Creed, is that you begin to not know where the character ends and you begin. I feel like that's probably what Sly has with Rocky. He's been playing Rocky for 40 years. So I, I'm, I'm really grateful that I feel like I get to get to a place of synchronicity with Bianca. But she certainly takes me into new spaces, like getting to write and perform original music. That is new for me. Each of the Rocky films and thereby the Creed films are really films about family, about love, about relationships. This one is solidly steeped inside a family. And inside of that, I think something that's really unique that hasn't been done before is really humanizing the would-be villain in the form of Drago. You have Drago's son who comes in here and he's the opponent, but he his story is complicated and you have a sense of his family dynamic. And so I think when those two men get into the ring, it's not cut and dry in terms of who should win and who should lose. They both have a lot on the line and I think it makes the, the fight scenes really electric. He's so iconic, you know. We, I, you forget that, and then suddenly we're in a scene, and he's in the ring, and just all the audience, you know, a thousand people just start chanting "Rocky, Rocky." He means so much to people, and you know, now it's done very often that people write, produce, act, and things. But when Sly did it, he was really a renegade. So he's really an inspiration to folks like me and to Mike that want to take agency over their own career, that want to produce things, that want to be more than a cog in something moving. So he's a he's a living inspiration. Just arrived, ladies and gentlemen. The full star of Green, you see her in Westworld. She's the super heroine Valkyrie, and she is here. Green two, Tessa Thompson. Yeah,